Hey guys, Corey Jacobson here. We're going to take a look today at how we do a do-it-yourself European skull mount. We've got a bull elk here, but it'll work for any other uh, skull that you want to bleach out and uh, get ready to properly display. The first thing you want to do is get the flesh off the skull. So once the hide's off, you get it skinned off and everything, get as much of the flesh off as you can, and then you'll take and put it in uh, some kind of a vat of water that you can boil. I've got a custom stainless steel tub here that works really good for boiling water in, but anything will do, a turkey fryer, uh, any kind of a, a metal container that you can get water hot in and fit the skull in will work just fine. I like to put in just some laundry detergent. Uh, laundry detergent with bleach works great, but basically what that does is it helps break down the flesh that's on there and it helps degrease the skull so that the bleach can really soak in and, and get it nice and white. After that, we take it out, clean it off, and then I use just a 30 volume uh, bleach you can get at a, a hair salon. Boil it in that for a little bit and it's a really clean and easy process to do. So we're going to just go ahead and jump in and show you step by step the process that we use to do a European skull mount. Alright, so the skull's been boiling for about 30 minutes now in the detergent mix uh, with the water here and most of the flesh and, and tissue and everything should be pretty loose and, and coming off of the skull. So we're going to take the power washer now and pressure wash it, spray all of it off, get it cleaned up really good and then we'll put it in the bleach mix to uh, whiten it up really good. Okay, so we have the skull cleaned off, all of the flesh, tissue, and everything's off of it. It's actually looking really clean. Uh, one thing to note, if the nose bones fall off of there, no big deal. Just take them off, we'll put them in the bleach solution, get them white, and then we can glue them on when we're finished with the bleaching. The next thing you want to do is refill the, the vat with water, and we'll add some 30 volume bleach to that solution and that's what's going to really whiten this skull up for us. So we're going to go ahead and fill the vat with some water, put the bleach in with it. We want to make sure that we don't get the water up over the level of the antlers, otherwise it's going to bleach the bottom of the antlers there and we don't want that. So we'll be really careful as we fill that up. We'll start the fire again, let it boil for about 20 to 30 minutes. 
pull it out and we'll be done. We've been boiling here in the bleach solution for about 30 or 40 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and pull the skull out. All that's left now is rinsing it off really good and it should be white and ready to mount. So there you have it, just uh, under two hours from start to finish, pretty simple process and uh, you've got a nice white bleached skull that's ready to be mounted on a plaque and properly displayed. For more tips and tactics related to elk and elk hunting, be sure to visit us at elk101.com.